Alright guys, Ray Shoots back with another video. So if you're new to RAW, you might find this series particularly helpful. Now there are two ways to adjust contrast in RAW and to bring out dramatic detail in your photos. And the first way is using the basic adjustment panel. So with this, I'm using the shadow slider. And with that, as you see, I'm bringing it into the minuses. And bringing it down isolates the foreground. Um, and it's a very nice feature to have, particularly if the subject has dark acids, so clothing, hair. The shadow control brings out the complexion very nicely, and it gives a, a very elegant feel to the image without being overkill. And that's because the shadows edit chooses the parts of the image that the camera has picked up as being dark or black and it knows how to work with them very well and the result is, is usually very pleasant. Um, you can also control the contrast using the blacks slider. Now this takes the contrast one step further and it's useful for monochrome, it works very well with monochrome, particularly if you're trying to create a chiaroscuro effect, um, but it can be overkill in a colour image. And then again it could be perfect, it really does depend on the image, but in this instance I find it slightly overkill because you lose some of the detail here. But you can use the black slider to create a spotlight effect over your subject. The second way to adjust the contrast in RAW is using the Adjustment Brush tool. Now this gives you finite control over the exposure, contrast, even the sharpness, but over a specific area, not the whole image. So let's say I want to isolate my subject by darkening the background. With the adjustment brush, I can choose which parts of the background to darken. I don't have to darken the whole thing. And with this edit, you can even choose the size of the brush. So you can choose the circumference. See, it's just a circle that you drag around the area that you want to pinpoint. You can adjust the feathering, the thickness, you know, all aspects of it. So it's really nice control that you can have over the image. So that's a quick overview of how to edit contrast in RAW. Don't forget to like this video if you found it useful. And be sure to follow Ray Shoots for more videos like this and for more detailed tutorials. Catch you in the next one.